Okay, so now I have my two circles cut using my Circle Scissors Plus from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to continue on making my card. First thing I'm going to do is take my sponge and my Certainly Celery ink and I'm just going to sponge all the way around this circle. This is very vanilla by the way. It just softens it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to just run some tape around it. And attach it to my designer series paper. And just rub it down really good, make sure you get a good bond. Okay, set this aside. Bring my cutter in. The base of the card is going to be certainly celery, and I cut it at four and a quarter by eleven, and I'm going to score it at five and a half. give it a good crease. All right. And I'm still going to have it opening to the side, just like a regular standard card. Only this way. All right. I'm going to run some tape along this side and this side and just along half of the circle. And what I want to do is mount this half on and half off just like that. Alright, so this is what we have so far. And as you can see on the back, this is all extra. So what I'm going to do is pull in my cutter. This is the, the big cutter. And I'm going to turn it over on its, the back side of it and I'm just going to cut that extra off. Just like that. Very good. Now I'm going to set this aside. Alright, now I'm going to bring in my stamp positioner and I've already stamped my image on the stamp positioner. Line it up the way I want it and I'm using the Upsy Daisy set. I'm going to ink up my stamp. Get it good and inked. I'm going to move this film away and I'm going to stamp Making sure to get good, solid, even pressure all over. There we go. All right, set that aside. And I'm going to stamp the birthday greeting. This is going to be a birthday card. So I need to stamp my birthday greeting. And I'm going to use my small oval punch and punch this out. Just like that. And I'm going to sponge around the outside of that as well. Just like that. Quick and easy. All right. Then I'm going to use my large oval punch. Come in here and just punch a piece out of that to layer on. Put some tape on the back of this. Set it on there. Now, um, I'm going to use my piercing tool and the foam mat from the, the mat pack and I'm just gonna for some added interest I'm just gonna poke some holes around the top half and the bottom half of this. Um, there is a template, a brass template that um, Stampin' Up! sells 
that allows you to, to do that. Um, but I don't have mine yet. It's coming. I just don't have it yet. So I'm just going to freehand this. I think it needs one more right there. And um, I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm just going to go on the top and on the bottom. So while I'm doing this, um, my last video, I told you that if you had any questions about the project I was doing, to uh, go to my blog. And then I realized that I didn't have a blog. Well, that got me to thinking I might need one, so hence the sign in front of me, the I'm SOS, I'm Stuck on Stampin' Up! blog. So go visit my blog and um, leave me a comment, let me know how you think it's, it's doing and if there's a specific technique or, or something that you'd like me to, to do a video on, um, just leave me a, a comment and let me know. Okay, so here is what it looks like with the paper piercing on the top and on the bottom. And what I'm going to do is add some pop dots, pop it up a little bit. Remember what I said to push in the center of the pop dot and that will release the paper. And I'm just going to set it right in the middle here, make sure that's straight. And then I'm going to get some of this pretty ribbon that I got through Celebration. And you can still order Stampin' Up! product $50. For every $50 you order, you can get your choice of a celebration set um, or, or ribbon or the uh, designer series paper. And that runs through the end of March, so you still have a little bit of time left, but don't wait because once it's gone, it's gone. Alright, so I'm just going to tie a little bow here. Not a bow, a knot. trim that off, trim the other end, it wants to fold on me, I can't get in there and cut it, alright, there we go, straighten it out, and there you go, there's your card, alright, so that's it, using the circles from the Circle Scissors Plus, if you have any questions, you can visit my blog now. Um, until next time, go get your fingers inky. Thanks.